Hey what's up guys, it's Rob. Hope you're doing really good out there. So it's been a couple of weeks since I posted a video. I've just been pretty busy, but the last videos I posted were both ACDC covers. Um, when they dropped their new album, I did a couple of the new tunes and I've had quite a few comments of people asking me how I got my guitar tone and what I used to get those specific guitar sounds for those covers that I did. And I've had that comment quite a lot because I've done quite a few ACDC videos now over the past few years and that question crops up every so often. And I just thought I'd make a video just showing you how I get my ACDC sort of sound. So firstly, I just wanna say, this is not me saying that this is how you get the perfect ACDC tone. This is not me trying to replicate their tone and showing you that this is the best way possible. This is just how I got my ACDC tone. So don't go in the comments and be like, you don't know what you're talking about, this is nothing like it, this is rubbish. Also, I just wanna say beforehand that when it comes to an ACDC tone, people just think it's a crunchy sort of tone and there's not much gain, which is kind of true, but it's also quite a hard tone to replicate, mainly because you've got to think about ACDC's catalogue of music. Every album kind of sounds a little bit different. Think about Fly on the Wall for argument's sake, that's got a lot of gain, quite a lot of distortion compared to their other stuff. Some of their earlier stuff has got more mids in the tone, and their later stuff is a lot cleaner and a lot crisper. So trying to get one ACDC tone which matches their whole back catalogue is actually really difficult. Also, don't forget, you've got Malcolm Young with his Gretsch and his sound, and Angus with his SG and his sound, Marshall amps and all that sort of thing, but two different guitar sounds that are put together at the same time to create one big guitar sound. And obviously, I am only one guitar player, and I assume you are as well. So you gotta keep these things in mind. It's, it's difficult to create the perfect ACDC tone. So we can only do our best, can't we? Anyway, I'm gonna show you how I got my tone. First things first. Yes, I've got a Gibson SG, just like Angus. Mine's just a 2019 standard Gibson SG. Nothing special, I've not done anything to it. I've not done any pickup swaps or anything like that. But yes, I've got a Gibson SG, but no, I don't think you need to get a Gibson SG to get close to an ACDC sound. You can get pretty much the same effect with any electric guitar as far as I'm concerned. It just helps to have a Gibson SG when you're trying to get that sort of tone or even a Gretsch like Malcolm anyway. So yes, I've got a Gibson SG. In terms of actually getting the sound, I don't use amps really ever in my guitar playing on this channel. In fact, I don't really have amps. I've got a couple of amps over there which I've shown on this channel before, but most of the time I'm always using plugins or maybe some pedals or something like that. But all my tones are usually from those sorts of things. So this might surprise a few people, but the tone that I used on the last quite a few videos that I've used for ACDC sort of things is actually off GarageBand. It's a straight up GarageBand preset and it's called Old School Punk. I recently made a couple of videos where I demonstrated and went through all the different stock garage band guitar tones just because I've never looked through them before. I've used things like bias effects and amplitude and you know those are great but they cost a lot of money. Well they cost money, maybe not a lot but they cost money. Well worth it by the way. And before you spend that money I was thinking well garage band which everybody who has an iMac or a MacBook or anything like that has access to, that has stock preset guitar tones in it, whether it's clean, crunch, high gain, I don't know if those are any good, I've not actually looked at those, but I mainly looked at the clean and crunch tones, and surely there must be something in there that is usable, so that's what I made a video of recently, and I did actually come across a few tones that I like, and one of them being the old school punk tone, which I thought, this is a really great ACDC tone. You know, it kind of does give me that sound that I'm after. So that's what I used. I'm gonna jump on the computer now, I'm gonna plug my guitar in and just do a little bit playing and show you how I've tweaked it a little bit to get a better sound in my opinion for ACDC stuff. So let's check that out now. Okay, so as you can see, sorry about my head being cut off. Don't have very many places to put the camera right in front of me, but I've got the guitar plugged in. And as you can see on my computer, I'm on GarageBand, I'm recording. Got a bit of signal. And all I did, if I just backtrack a little bit, I don't really want to click off this because I do have some settings which I've already created here. Well, if the settings are already there, I've just played with them a little bit. But you've got these guitar tones here. So if you literally start any guitar track and you're recording, 
any track like that straight on GarageBand or Logic if you have it. Um, then there are some presets that you can use which are just down the side here. So I went to Crunch Guitar and I've tried all of these in that video I was on about earlier where I was going through the different ones and Old School Punk is the one that I like, uh, the one that I thought was a pretty good sound. Um, and it looks like this when you first load it up, you've got the amp thing there and you've got your controls and your EQ here and you've got the actual amp there if you want to tweak the treble, the mids, the bass, basically a normal amp sort of setup. There's even a little pedal board. And for this, I haven't touched that. That is just stock as it was when I put the preset on. Um, but anyway, let me show you how it sounds. So I've got the guitar plugged in and I'm on the bridge pickup. And this is just the guitar straight into that tone straight in the, in the computer. Straight away, I think that's a pretty good ACDC sort of tone. It's kind of clean, but it's got that bite that you want for that little sort of, just that little push, that little bit of overdrive to make it sound really cool. So all I've done is I've turned the reverb up quite a bit. And then I went to the actual amp thing itself. And these are the settings that I made. You can play about with all this. You can play about with the microphone position and where it is and stuff like that. And I've not really bothered to do that because it sounded great straight out of the bat, to be honest. And like I said, it's not the perfect tone. It's not the best one in the world. So don't be thinking that's what I'm saying. Bass, I've turned the bass up or well, I don't know if I actually messed with that one. I might have left that one where it is, but I turned the mids up and I turned the treble up a little bit. And the presence, I put it at just over 12 o'clock. Uh, you can play about with all these. Your guitar might have a little bit of a different sound to it, so you might want to tweak it differently to this SG of mine. But this is how it sounds for me. And for, well, that is a rhythm sort of tone, you know, but if I was doing a lead, I'd probably turn the gain up a little bit. I might even kick on a pedal, so I might even do that in a little bit. But here's how it sounds. Let me play some ACDC riffs so you can kind of get the vibe of how it's sounding so far. <laughs> I think it sounds awesome, I think it sounds really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, let's try a little bit of a lead tone, so I'll turn the amp off, I'm not gonna mess anything, mess with anything. Uh, the drive is already on, this little pedal, this is already engaged when I clicked onto it, but I'm gonna just turn it up a little bit. Sounds cool, it's got that Angusy sort of tone. In my opinion, it's close to it. There is obviously a lot of better things that you can use. Obviously a Marshall would be a good start. A Marshall amp turned up, cranked, that sort of thing. Maybe some different pickups in your guitar, I don't know. But I don't think this is a bad start. It gives you something that's close to, something that matches their whole sort of tonal variety throughout their albums. Because one thing that I've noticed is, I mean, I made a couple videos where I talked about, well, I didn't talk about, I played 
underrated ACDC riffs. I did a part one and a part two where there's loads of different riffs from loads of different albums. And I get some people commenting on those videos saying that there's too much gain. On the other video, there's not enough gain. And it, that's just one of those things. I can't find a single tone which matches their whole sort of album span. So, you know, if there's a little bit too much gain for some songs, then, you know, the opposite for some others. So this one I just don't think is a bad tone for pretty much all this sort of stuff. So that's what I'm using so far. It's basically just garage band old school punk for anybody out there who's curious to know what I used in my videos. <laughs> And the best thing about it is, um, again, I'm sorry that you, I'm just a very bright person at the moment with this light on next to me, but the best thing about this is that if anybody out there has got, obviously, a guitar and either an iMac, a MacBook, maybe even an iPad, I don't actually know if these tones are on iPads and iPhones, that sort of thing, if you can plug your guitar into your tablet or whatever. I assume they are, but I've not got an iPad. Um, and I've not tried it on my phone, but yeah, iMac or a um, laptop or something like that, that is Apple, you will straight away have GarageBand, and if you can plug your guitar into your computer, you will have this tone ready to go right at your fingertips, so without even having to spend any more money on some sort of really good plugins, like I said, Bias Effects. Amplitude is great, I really like Amplitude, but, you know, can be expensive if you don't want to spend the money on that sort of stuff. So that's the tone that I'm using old school punk, a nice simple preset on GarageBand just for anybody out there who's curious to know what I used. <laughs> Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, check out some of my other ACDC videos if you enjoyed this one and you liked me talking about the tone, then hear it in action on some of my other videos. Anyway, hope you're all great out there and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching.